this is Gloria Coppola from Massage Pro CE and this is Massage School. I've created some video clips for you in order to help you master some of the techniques that maybe you've learned along the way but can't quite remember exactly how they were performed or maybe you just need a different approach. So I hope you enjoyed these clips and if you have any questions please contact me and I hope to see you at a continuing education class sometime in the future. Thank you. So today, I'm going to show you how we can clear out some of the tension that you know people get along the erectus spinae. So first, I'm just going to take my forearm and kind of just stretch through here. I'm also kind of feeling for where his tighter regions are. I'm going to do it in both directions. And so I can get a sense already. See how that stops in there? Okay. Okay. So I want to come in from the side and take my fingers flat on the side of his body and I'm going to push medial so that these erectors will actually shorten this way. I'm going to hold that compression in there. You okay with that? Tender. A little tender? Okay. And I'm going to glide up, still holding that compression so that I'm pushing those erectors into the medial spine. And here is where I can feel some restriction. So we can do this if, it's, if they're capable in one run all the way up. But in his case, it's really blocking here. So we're going to see what's happening. And I'm just going to roll through here a few times, loosen some of this up. And so a lot of times we're trained to come into the laminar groove and loosen these attachments in here with some friction, and that's a good thing you can do as well. But I have found this technique to be very powerful in softening the rectors, separating them from how they get glued to the traps and the lats, and then people even find that they can bend over more. Okay, so now there's a little bit more space. You feel a difference in there? Yep. And I can feel right in there where he's still tight. So we're going to go back later and treat that a little bit more specifically. Some hold in this compression, making sure my client breathes, gliding up, and repeating this at least two or three times. Come back. After you've done that a few times, take your forearm, Stretch through here again. Do some effleurage. And you've cleared that out. Okay.